Emotions lie. Stoicism. Do your emotions ever feel like they're playing tricks on you? One minute you're happy, the next you're angry or sad for no obvious reason. Our emotions frequently lie to us, distorting our perception of reality and causing us to act against our own interests. The ancient Greek philosophy of Stoicism provides a powerful antidote to this emotional deception. Throughout this video, you'll gain a deeper understanding of the ways our emotions deceive us and how to apply Stoic principles to liberate yourself from their tyranny. Emotions are irrational and temporary. Our emotions swing wildly based on circumstances beyond our control. You might get furious over something small, like someone cutting you off in traffic, only to feel embarrassed about overreacting later. Or you experience intense fear while turbulence happens on a flight, despite knowing flying is extremely safe. When you get a promotion, you feel overjoyed temporarily until new stresses arise. Emotions like these distort our view of reality. The Stoics taught that letting unchecked emotions control us makes us slaves to external events that we can't control. We let insignificant criticism wound us deeply or a compliment inflate our ego needlessly. Neither response is rational or fitting. We become unhinged, reacting disproportionately to every changing emotional gust. True reason and virtue remain steady, unfazed by turbulent feelings. To find peacefulness, we must disentangle our sense of self from this emotional chaos. Our core identity should be rooted in our virtues and principles, not in how we happen to feel in the moment. Only then can we calmly deal with life's ups and downs without being knocked off balance by passing passions. Emotions cause unethical and self-destructive behaviors. When we let emotions rule us, we open the door to unethical self-sabotaging behaviors. Anger causes us to lash out and damage our relationships and reputations. Jealousy erodes trust and pollutes loving partnerships. Sadness saps motivation and productivity. Feeling-driven actions undermine our ethics and values and end up harming ourselves more than anyone. The Stoics viewed cultivating virtue as paramount, having courage, self-control, fairness, and wisdom in all situations. But when emotion reigns, vice takes over instead. We become cowards ruled by fear, gluttons controlled by appetite, or cheaters rationalizing injustice. Our fundamental ethical code disappears as emotional needs control us. True virtue requires mastering our emotional impulses so reasoned choice determines our actions, not just going along with how we feel in the heat of the moment. With Stoic philosophy ingrained, we resist the temptation to act against our values, avoiding self-inflicted harm. Unchecked emotions leave you aimless. When you live at the mercy of your emotions, you become rudderless, blown about by forces outside your control. A disappointing outcome plunges you into despair. An embarrassing incident crushes your self-esteem you feel powerless over external events, dictating your internal emotional state. The Stoics believe the only thing truly in our control is our judgment and intentional choices about how to respond. Everything else, reputations, material wealth, relationships, is subject to circumstances beyond our influence. So the prime focus is strengthening our reasoned philosophical outlook as the core governing our decisions and reactions rather than letting passing emotions wrest control. With Stoicism, no external event has power over your mindset unless you allow it. You can remain level-headed, rationally choosing how to respond to situations instead of being irrationally swayed by fear, delight, or any other emotion. You become an unwavering force, resolutely charting your chosen life course through all storms of misfortune or bouts of success, Emotions blind you to present reality. Our emotions veil us in delusion, blinding us to the reality of the present through distorted lenses of passion. Extreme fear conjures catastrophic futures that rarely happen. Nostalgia paints the past as an unrealistic paradise. Infatuation causes us to idealize flawed partners. We get stuck in imagined realities at odds with observable facts. The Stoic remedy centers on accepting the objective reality of this present moment as it factually exists, not filtered through hopes, regrets, or idealized misconceptions. 
neither dreading nor pining for what may come, but clear focus on navigating your immediate circumstances with pragmatic action. Only by removing the distorting veil of emotion can we perceive life unfolding as it truly is, not trapped in delusional mental fabrications. We face challenges pragmatically, proceeding with steadfast wisdom and courage unclouded by imagined fears or nostalgic fantasy. Emotions are ever-changing and unreliable. One moment in despair, the next elated. Our emotions are ever-changing, shifting unpredictably based on small, often inconsequential sparks. We can go from feeling secure and happy to anxious and sad in an instant, for no rational reason. We are at the mercy of these emotional hurricanes we can't control. The Stoics counseled developing an evenness of temperament precisely to weather these changing emotional storms. An unshakable equanimity allows weathering gusts of feeling without deviating from our chosen direction, steadily writing course once each squall passes. With Stoic resilience, we never careen off track chasing each shifting emotion. Instead, wisdom steers our actions, meeting swells and ebbs of feeling with tranquil determination, never derailed but always oriented by our lasting purpose and integrity rather than random convergences of passing emotions. Emotions make you impulsive and short-sighted. Have you ever been so angry you said or did something you immediately regretted, or made an impulsive purchase out of instant gratification only to feel shame and buyer's remorse soon after. Emotions promote a short-sighted impulsiveness that trades lasting interests for immediate urges. The Stoics advocated cultivating prudence and moderation, a far-sighted approach that kept focus on the most virtuous path rather than fleeting cravings. Before rashly acting on intense emotion, they urged pausing to ensure the consequences aligned with one's deepest principles and aspirations. With wisdom prioritized over impulse, choices promoted virtue and sagacity, not momentary whims. Those enslaved to emotions constantly seek expedient emotional relief, no matter the cost. But those who govern themselves have the patience and foresight to make sacrifices for nobler long-term aims beyond just placating present feelings. Their endeavors find higher purpose and meaning in improving character and circumstances, Emotions are narcissistic and isolating. Our emotions turn us narcissistic, consumed by our personal feelings and disconnected from others and impartial reality. When sad, we shut out friends and loved ones. Jealousy breeds baseless distrust toward partners. Anger ironically hurts us most through burnt bridges and regret. We conflate passing emotional states with reality itself. In contrast, Stoicism may represent the ultimate form of empathy, the wisdom to divorce oneself from self-absorbed feelings and see reality objectively, not through egocentric perceptions. In doing so, we gain truer insight into others' motivations and a holistic, universal view. With a stable evenness of spirit, we better understand those around us and work toward the greater good, no longer limited by personalized biases. The emotion-extinguished Stoic becomes an open vessel for altruistic love towards all people, achieving ever more harmony with the unifying patterns of the cosmos. Liberated from egocentric feelings, our circle of compassion and sense of profound interconnection is allowed to massively expand. Emotions cause needless anxiety. Much anxiety stems from obsessing over events beyond our control and imagining worst-case scenarios that seldom happen. We become paralyzed, worrying about potentialities that realistically may never occur, robbing us of ability to effectively influence what is currently in our control. The Stoics crystallized this principle as the dichotomy of control. We must accept with equanimity what is uncontrollable while applying effort pragmatically toward what we can control in the present. Why fret incessantly about hypothetical futures? Focus instead on confronting what's in front of you right now with calm determination, fretting about future unknowns like potential job loss, relationship turmoil or illness takes energy away from doing your best at this moment. Have the wisdom to distinguish between circumstances you can influence through purposeful action versus those you cannot control no matter how much you worry. Whenever you catch your mind catastrophizing about someday possibilities, rein it back to the here and now. 
Stoic mindfulness means directing your entire concentration toward engaging fully with the realities of the present situation. That's where your agency lives. Emotions distort your judgment. When you let emotion dominate, it clouds your ability to judge situations objectively and make wise decisions. Fear makes you exaggerate risks and ignore logical evidence that contradicts your anxieties. Anger leads to rash overreactions and lashing out in ways you later regret. Likewise, positive emotions like infatuation or pride can cause you to overlook obvious flaws and red flags. The Stoics knew the supreme importance of striving to see everything as impartially as possible, using sound judgment and reasoned principles, not through the distorted filters of passing feelings that can warp your perspective. With unclouded logic and objectivity, you make highest quality choices. For example, you shouldn't decide whether to take an exciting new job opportunity based on the dizzying high of possibility or petty insecurities about change. Nor should you end a long-term relationship just because of transitory doubts or attractions during an emotional nadir. Those kinds of huge life decisions require sober reasoning, not just going with your feels. The goal is to separate your identity from volatile emotional storms as much as possible. Try viewing life's ups and downs as an impartial observer might, not identifying so strongly with each shifting feeling that you lose objectivity. That clear-eyed detachment allows making higher quality judgments. Emotions drain your energy. Ever had one of those days where you were on an emotional roller coaster ride? You started feeling energized, but then got demoralized over a small critique. You rebounded into being upbeat, only to crash into anxiety about some worst case scenario you imagined. By the end of the day, you likely felt utterly depleted. Those kinds of intense emotional fluctuations throughout each day act like a vacuum sucking away your precious energy reserves. All the soaring highs and despairing lows take a huge mental and physical toll. You're left frequently fatigued and unmotivated. In contrast, Stoics aim to govern their emotions with an evenness of temperament, avoiding extreme emotional peaks and valleys that sap their vigor. They don't fritter away finite energy stores on excessive emotions. Instead, they cultivate a composed tranquility that preserves their focus and drive. By exhibiting this kind of unflappable centeredness and self-control, no matter the circumstance, you husband your energies for what's most important, rather than careening between manic emotional states. That sustainable steadiness keeps you consistently motivated and productive over the long haul. Emotions fuel ego and conflict. Many feuds, arguments and hurt feelings stem directly from people getting their egos too invested in situations and lashing out emotionally. Pride leads to anger and resentment over perceived disrespect. Envy and insecurity contribute to jealousy and distrust. We feel deeply threatened and hostile over circumstances that aren't objectively that dire. The Stoics recognized how much avoidable conflict arises when we lack the self-awareness to detach from egocentric feelings. Getting overly wrapped up in your own narrative and taking things too personally creates needless tension and hostility with others. Reacting rashly from ego bruising makes mountains out of molehills. A healthier approach recognizes that most of the perceived flaws or offenses that spark outrage exist primarily in our own minds, not in reality. Few people actually intend to disrespect us. We simply read into things through lenses of bias and emotional baggage. When you remove ego from the equation, many supposed conflicts diffuse immediately. With stoic self-restraint and realignment of perspective, you let go of taking non-issues personally. You decline to escalate situations emotionally on impulse. Instead, you react phlegmatically and aim to understand the other side's motivations. This preserves relationships and minimizes avoidable angst. Emotions are contagious. Personal emotions get amplified and validated when surrounded by others experiencing similar intense feelings. Panic and fear spread rapidly in tense situations. Anger and resentment easily multiply through social reinforcement. Likewise, for more positive emotional contagions, you can easily get swept up in unfounded hype and groupthink. The Stoics knew the importance of remaining level-headed and dispassionate, 
when everyone around you is getting carried away by strong emotional currents, whether anxiety, fury, enthusiasm, or anything else. You must have the rational fortitude to resist joining mob mentalities thoughtlessly. Imagine being one of the few calm voices warning against extreme actions while an entire crowd is in a pitchfork-wielding frenzy. That's the level of reasoned detachment and self-control required to uphold principles immune to emotionally charged group dynamics. You cannot be swayed simply because those around you are gripped by mutual delusion. When others are indulging emotional extremes, that's precisely when stoic restraint acts as a centering bedrock of stability and sound judgment. You think for yourself, unmoved by the hysterical leanings of the flock. With clear-eyed independence, you hold the line of truth and wisdom. Emotions are temporary sources of motivation. Relying on bursts of fiery emotion like anger or desperation may supply motivational sparks in the short term. However, those intense flames of state-based drive inevitably extinguish as quickly as they arose, leaving you lapsed back into complacency. You cannot sustain lasting discipline on such a rickety motivational base. Instead, the Stoics cultivated mindful self-regulation as the core of their willpower and motivation. They instilled habits and routines as the steadfast foundation driving their long-term goal pursuit. Rather than being periodically jolted into action by fleeting feeling states, their intentions flowed from entrenched rational beliefs and character. For example, when trying to develop a new habit like waking up earlier or working out regularly, don't rely simply on pumping yourself up with get-psyched motivation hacks based on emotional arousal. While that might provide an initial push, it's like attempting to power an engine on quick-burning kindling rather than long-burning coal or gas. True habit change comes from repeatedly applying willpower from deeper wellsprings of stoic fortitude, recognizing waking early or exercising as virtuous behaviors aligned with your reasoned principles and desired self-identity. Those convictions, internalized through sustained mindful practice, provide resolute motivation no temporary feeling can match. Emotions blind you to your own faults. One of the most pernicious ways emotions deceive us is by making it extremely difficult to recognize and confront our own shortcomings with honesty. When we feel defensive, our egos kick in and we create all sorts of rationalizations to avoid admitting mistakes or areas for self-improvement. The Stoics believe that unclouded self-awareness and a willingness to identify one's own errors and character flaws was essential to personal growth and virtuous living. As the philosopher Seneca wrote, he who indicts himself is his own judge, he who commends himself his own flatterer. Without the clear mirror of reasoned self-examination, our flaws and bad habits get obscured by the emotional urge for ego preservation. We make endless excuses, engage in denial or project blame outwards, rather than honestly acknowledging what we need to work on. Overcoming this self-deception requires diligently stepping outside our feelings. Emotions distract from living ethically. When you're caught up in turbulent emotions like fear, resentment, jealousy or hatred, they consume your mind and distract you from concentrating on living with virtue and integrity in alignment with your deepest values. The noise of passing feelings makes it difficult to be mindful. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, people are not disturbed by things, but by the views they take of them. Our emotions essentially create delusional realities we buy into, creating unnecessary suffering while losing sight of our core ethical principles. By contrast, when you can view life's inevitable difficulties through a philosophical lens of equanimity, you stay centered on conducting yourself with wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance. Your mental energies remain focused on doing the right thing rather than wasted on transient emotional turmoils. Emotions foster irrational attachments. We often develop powerful emotional attachments to particular outcomes, possessions, or situations that go far beyond what's rationally warranted for our true well-being. Through these intense but misguided emotions, we wind up prioritizing trivialities over what actually matters most. The ancient Stoic teachers considered this tendency toward irrational emotional investment and craving as one of the root causes of unhappiness and suffering. As the philosopher Seneca cautioned, the greatest obstacle to living is expectancy. 
which hangs upon tomorrow and loses today. When you let your emotions latch onto superficial dreams and desires, you doom yourself to inevitable dissatisfaction. The Stoic path involves reorienting your values by rationally examining which external circumstances you've become overly attached to through unhealthy emotion and intentionally letting go. Well, if you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.